The whole goal for tonight is to get to the hospital. Now we're at an area that is really secure. I just saw like a light go through the house right there. Man, I thought there would be a lot more people in here. There's somebody in this one right here, look. Right to the left. Was that you that just made a noise down the hallway? Something feels off about this place. Took me about two and a half seconds to process. The, he put the tarp there, probably to let him know where we were coming in. What's up everybody, my name is TJ Faison. First and foremost, welcome to the channel. Second of all, welcome back to another late night haunted adventure where we are gonna take you all on another scary video. But we have a special guest, and this is beside me, Chuck Dempsey, who is an off-road legend. He's actually my driving coach, driving instructor, the guy who has uh, literally made my learning curve from like this much to this much. We were messing around at uh, the test day at Brenthal's test and we're just like, hey, listen, man, we'd love to have you in video. Luckily he came out and we got a spot for you. And do you know a little bit about where we're going or? Yeah, kind, kind of, of like I know the location, but I uh, uh, haven't been able to adventure at it like you guys are doing. Okay. It, that's for sure. All right, cool. Um, how fast can you run? Uh, probably at my age, probably not the fastest, <laughs> but I'll, I'll make it happen, especially okay. if uh, we got the popo behind <laughs> us, you know what I mean? Yeah. Probably it's faster than me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we just gotta outrun Chris. <laughs> yeah, okay. No problem. And I just gotta outrun you two. So at that point, I think we're all right, we're good. But seriously, if y'all have not already subscribed to the channel, the vlog channel, the Second channel is linked down in the description. Also, go follow Chuck on Instagram and go follow Chris as well. We're doing a lot of cool stuff together. We're gonna see Chuck and a lot of the vlogs on the second channel with the trophy truck and all the cool stuff that we're doing. And we're absolutely pumped. The whole goal for tonight is to get to the hospital. Now we're at an area that is really secure. Wait, you mean the hospital like, uh, the hospital where they work on us? Or oh, the no, hospital no. in the place? The okay, abandoned all right, one. The abandoned right, one. Right, cool. all right, all right. Hopefully we go to the abandoned one and don't have to go to the real one, but you know, hey, <laughs> hey shit happens, hey. right? So It's part of racing too. So <laughs> Absolutely. I'm okay with it. Shit happens. <laughs> That's gonna be the goal tonight, is to get into the hospital, do an investigation. We've got all the paranormal gear tonight. Yeah, Chris, you ready to run? Uh, I'm ready to, to not get caught. <laughs> I'll all be right. hiding. Perfect. So without further ado, love y'all so much. Let's get right into this video. All right, all so. Right. Chuck, have you ever had a ghost experience? Do you believe in ghosts? Like, how's that work for you? I have never had any kind of ghost experience. Um, uh, I believe there's some kind of force out there that can be ghosts, in a sense. Um, I've never seen one. I've probably been kind of spooked out on some stuff, mm -hmm. but uh, I've never actually seen a ghost where I was like, shit, this dude's chasing me. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. No, I like that. That that's so I mean that I like to ask that question because I mean some people don't believe and then there's some people who are like die hard like yeah this shit's real yeah yeah you know what I mean so like aliens right yeah, yeah I I don't know what I believe we kind of told you the other day that we think that we possibly saw a UFO I don't know I just <laughs> whatever the hell that was was unexplainable because it moved like left to right instead of like a constant move. CJ, do you believe in ghosts? I do. I used to not, and that's the funny part. So I used to think that if you believed in ghosts, that we should maybe go get you evaluated. Because I had never, I was scared to death to turn off the light and run up the stairs, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, so I, I think I didn't want to believe, and then I had an experience one time where I'm like, damn, okay, that's unexplainable. Right, right. So. That's why I do this, because it's like looking for answers. I love answers. So I kind of see where you're talking about when you, you said something before, it was like, you know how you get adrenaline when you're racing a truck? You gotta get adrenaline going around chasing these ghost guys. Exactly. Yeah, I like yep. it, I like it. Mm -hmm. This is like a nice little fix in between races. So. <laughs> <laughs> Plus when you gotta break in somewhere, that's, that's, that's quite the adrenaline rush. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that might be security. Oh, that's my biggest worry with this place is like 
All right, so like secure, I've been busted a couple times here, you know, it is what it is. At the same location? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little white security vehicle. So what I typically try to do is I try to wait it out. I try to see where they are because sometimes they park and wait for you here. Oh, they know you're coming. Oh yeah. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha, all right. And the prison's right across the street, so we don't have far to go. It's a quick little walk over there to get uh, it booked and you know, processed. You could, uh, do like a little reverse psychology, and just run towards the prison and they'd be like, why would anybody go near a prison? <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> all right, that's our game plan right there. <laughs> <laughs> Genius. It's not a bad idea, really. We just all wear jumpsuits, you know? Yeah. Dude, they have new gates up. Uh -oh. No. Uh-oh. No. Oh, no. It might be that over it Might be over before it started. Oh. The bottle with Bowser and race mile 200. <laughs> <laughs> with a flat tire. Yeah. Dude, they put up a brand new fence the whole way around. They probably watched your video, that's why. Exactly. I just saw, like, a light go through the house right there. Oh shit, really? really? Yeah, like there was even a red light, like someone's brake light was in there. Oh damn. So there might be That's some visitors. That's probably what I would consider, that might be security. Have you ever come up into these houses like this and someone's like in there, like living in there? Yeah. We've run across some very, very, very mean homeless people. Yeah, I was going to say that. I mean, like. I would say if there was anything we're going to run into tonight, it would be that. Here's like the weird part about this. So the hospital is quite the hike and they have that because it's in the middle probably yes yeah oh my gosh they put up a fence around that too chris wow there's a trucker right there yeah oh boy he's probably watching netflix so let's oh we got lights to the right We got lights at the at the end too. Oh yep. So usually the security people here they give them their, themselves away because they have the little uh, the little yellow beacon up top. Yeah. Where in the f are they going? They're going in the neighborhood. Yeah, dude. I, I bet there's so many people living in here right now. Holy shit. Should we go behind them? See, they're just going for a little cruise. Yeah, where the hell are they going? Oh, we can have the security. Oh, let's carry them out. Oh my gosh. That won't be good. Dude, where? That weird. guy's going in to conduct some business. I think so, <laughs> he went in. He went in pretty, pretty hot. Oh, yeah. He, oh, he went past. Oh, yeah. He went past the, the little gate. Wait, in his car? Did he drive over it? Yeah, he drew. He drove right through the gate. Not through the gate, but like the gate was kind of open, so he went through type thing. I saw a light inside that one. I know I'm seeing like either people's cell phone lights or, and it's a Friday night too, so that's oh, probably not helping our yeah. case with a bunch of teenagers or trying to run in and out of here either. No way. What? Did they tear it down? Look at all the block. Oh no. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's no way. Where was it? The hospital's right here on the left. It is or it was? Um, well, most of it was. What a shack. We got a lookout chair over there to the left. That's not good. It's got a what? Like a little lookout chair or something. Oh, yeah, I saw that. That looks like a basket. Brings all the shit here. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe they left all this abandoned. It's really insane. Used to be really government nice. probably owns this property, right? I think they do, yeah. And I think they lease the airport part of it to Boeing. That'd be cool to see if we can get in one of them planes. <laughs> Gosh, would that be wild or what? I think we can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I like the optimism, I really do. <laughs> so sometimes there's a security car that sits over here to the left. They're not there. So yeah, as long as we do our little recon here, I think we'll be okay. Shit, there's somebody in this one right here. Look, right to the left. <laughs> he was just sitting in there? Yeah. Like peeked his head up. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> Incredible. Incredible. Man, I thought there'd be a lot more people in here. I think there's a decent amount, but... <laughs> Where are their cars is the question. 
Oh, no, these people don't have cars. <laughs> <laughs> good yeah, point, good point. That's exactly right. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, there's lights on in there for sure. See what I mean? Yeah. Chuck, you were right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's one in that one, too. Did you see it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, what? Oh, my gosh. Well, because uh, they got somewhat of a roof over their head, you know? Good point. Truthfully, I feel like the number one fear right now is just the homeless people. Yeah, that and security. Not really scared to find some ghost activity. Oh, CJ, have you been here before? Yes. Have you had paranormal stuff happen here? Yes, I have actually. Okay. And there's a light on inside this place. I just saw that. What do you think we do? Mm. Try not to get stabbed. Everybody got their the hobo. The part I'm okay with is them, the, them sticking us with a needle. That might <laughs> yeah. Don't you want to do the Baja 1000 around here? <laughs> we are so stupid. <laughs> I see this every time. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> That's what you always do to me. We're gonna need some light. You want some ghost gear too? Um, probably should bring it. There's two flashlights in the, uh, the brown box. I should have brought my torch. It would definitely come in handy. <laughs> you guys look back for me once in a while, right? killed in here but she was like thrown off the balcony right up here Jeez. keep that out so you can video me getting stabbed <laughs> oh. so here's where things get creepy right so had somebody die in this area. I'm feeling weird right now. I don't know why. <laughs> Not trying to freak y'all out, but we do this thing called the Essie's method. So this is a spirit box. It's basically it's transmitting frequency, and it, you know they say that uh, ghosts can speak through frequency and stuff like that. So I put this on noise canceling headphones, and then you two ask questions, and I repeat whatever is heard. Ready? Yeah. Sweet. Oh, jeez. Something right. Shaking. Are you good? I don't know. Alright. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna close my eyes. I got these. Alright, mm -hmm. go ahead. You wanna ask a question? <laughs> go for it. Is there anyone in the building right now? I 
It's weird. Is the woman who died on the from falling off the balcony here with us right now? Does she live in this building still? What about the doctors that pushed her? Top. <laughs> yes, you did you fall from the top of the holding. balcony? Cancer? Did you have cancer before you were pushed off? Can you give us your name or tell us any information about you? When did you die here? How long has it been? It's quiet. 14. Was that 14 years ago? Behind you? Are you standing behind me right now? Is that where you fell? Does it bother you that we're here right now? Eleven. Fourteen and eleven. Is there anything you want to tell us? Was this place good to you? Yes. Better run. Where should we run from? Wyatt? Dose? This is fucking weird. So can you tell us who Wyatt is? Hear that? Was that you that just made a noise down the hallway? Can you do it again? Look around. Are you gonna show yourself? What's up? It's like a... I don't know how to explain it. Like, you know like when we normally do a session like this? Like, it's either like, it's either good or it's like on. It's like, a, it's got like this whine noise in it. Maybe because of all that. It might be. It's like a hard whine. Like a... It almost is like distracting what I, like I can't even hear anything. Like it's saying way more, but I'm not picking up like... Yeah. Like the hardest thing is to like decipher what's frequency of like a radio or frequency of like something actually like talking. Right, right. It's kind of tough. This place is pretty gnarly. <laughs> it really is. It it's sounds loud, isn't it? Before you pulled them off, it sounded like something made a bang down there. I mean, it could have been anything. It could have been the wind, but I heard a pretty loud noise. You just heard a loud noise down there? Before you took the headphones off, yeah. Really? It's fucking bad <laughs> This place is huge. It feels it feels a little off, for sure. How do you feel in this place? It's goofy, <laughs> freaky, little freaky. It keeps you on your toes a little bit, you know. We got these guys yeah. looking at us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <dude. laughs> oh, I'm like, what? The Yo, get the uh, spirit talker out. We've had good luck with that. I'll explain that. So this is like, again, it's, 
It's theoretical. We used to think, all right, an app. We weren't really digging much into it, but your phone has frequency waves. Mm -hmm. So this deciphers, like, if a spirit is, like, trying to talk, and it's, like, taking longer than normal, it's putting the words together it's saying. And it's only indicating, like, sometimes this shit doesn't ever go off. But, so, um, my name's CJ. I'm here with my friend Chris, Chuck. If there's any spirits around us, we welcome you to communicate with us, whether you're good, evil, doesn't matter. We want to talk to you. You said 11. I did? Yeah, when you're doing the Essie's method, you said 14 and then you said 11. See, that's what I'm saying. That's <laughs> weird. You heard it, right? Yeah. yeah. That's either a person or there's some paranormal activity walking around. That's a weird one. Mm -hmm. That's a shot. <laughs> oh, jeez. Shot for the metal. We got tetanus shots. So this down here was the children's hospital. So it's like one of the biggest rumors about this place was like, right, the, in the children's hospital area for whatever fucked up reason, people would do like rituals and sacrifice shit down here once it was abandoned. So Birdie. Birdie, sorry. So it was said like they opened like a portal and a portal was like the dimension between like hell and earth. Oh, look, we got an address here. You know where uh, Colton, California is? Mm -hmm. Is that close? Mm -hmm. No. Jeez. Something feels off about this place. Do you want to Yeah, that's all there's here for sure. Where do we come from? This way? Yeah, this way. Did we come from here? Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah. Did you throw something at him or did what happened there? No, I tried. I was picking up a paint can. I was going to throw it down there. When I threw it, I let go too soon. 
<laughs> you scared me because I thought you threw something at us. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what the f I literally I woke around the f corner. You spoke that shit into existence. <laughs> it's your fault. <laughs> what do you mean? You're like, oh, there could be people in here tonight. I'm not, they, they usually have people in the hospital, right? So we <laughs> woke around the corner and I do this and I take two steps and like, um, it took me about two and a half seconds to process what the f it was. He's like laying down like a model. And he's like, he's doing something that was nothing. He like, looks up. How do you not hear us or see my light before that? <laughs> he's probably knocked the f out. That's some good shit. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to pay him to like follow us around and keep us safe? <laughs> what? Pay us, pay him to follow us around and keep us safe for a little bit. Him? <laughs> I don't think it's a great idea. <laughs> so you want to go back in? <laughs> Oh, this yeah. one's on. There you go. Hello? That's the noise that we are hearing, I guarantee it. What? The freeway? No, the, the old guy? Yeah, it had to be. Yeah, that was like multiple in there. <laughs> <laughs> this would be like a because you see how temperature changed in there? Yeah, it's very warm compared to being out here. That's right. Don't blame them. I mean, yeah, I mean, you, if you were on foot, that's where you'd be. Absolutely. Nails and glass. I heard someone say, like when he said hello, I thought I heard somebody say something back. They probably know the spelling better than we do.
Jeez. I like the life trucks idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's got you over there. Yeah, that's it. The problem is that we don't know anyone's intentions. What? Wait, that was upstairs or somewhere. You can play that back on the camera. Upstairs? That was a female.
woke him up or he was doing something. I think he, I don't, I think it's both. I think he's like tweaked out or something because like, dude, he was like, when I, I turned the corner, it like, and I took like a step or two, it took me a second to realize what the f because it's a big ball, right? And like, he was doing, the, the, the motion of his hand is what caught my attention. And I looked, and that's why I looked, and then he goes, <laughs> like, big eye, I'm like, I was like, go back, go back, go back, go back. I ran into people in the houses, but not near. Like, uh, yeah, you manifested that shit. <laughs> you manifested that shit, dude. That, that place is kind of crazy, man. Isn't it wild? It's wild. It's just the unknown. <laughs> Energy felt a little weird in there, for sure. You good? Yeah. Hang on. So, see that entrance right there? Yeah. So, this is the ER entrance, right? Oh, they pull up. I'm going to attribute that to the wind, but I could be wrong. Uh -huh. Hello? Be on that wood, I bet you scared the shit out of him. Oh, yeah. All of them are awake now. Ready to kill. I'm zombies. I'm going to have a one way <laughs> stairwell right here. It's so far. It's like zombies. Should we try to head over that other entrance down there? Popper hides in. Where? exactly what we just saw. Harder. You gotta, you gotta know how to get out. Yeah. Like, 
There's a tarp there now? What the f***? Yeah, no, here we go. <laughs> Jeez. That's how horror movies start. 100%. <laughs> Why don't you do the camera, mother? <laughs> hey, turn the light off. I can't see where I'm going. Oh shit! <laughs> my bad. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I didn't even know I could run that fast. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell did y'all hit when y'all going out? Cause that was loud. Oh, that was you. It wasn't me. Yeah, I thought it was you. No. Someone threw something at us then. It was down your old hallway. I thought you had somebody smacked their head. That's no. what it sounded like. It was no. like pow. No. We so, were like deer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought you were, you were messing with us the first time. I was like, oh shit. No, sir. <laughs> Never looked back. I'm not around hey, in that no, situation. You said I had to be Chris. I couldn't be Chris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I said, sorry, boys. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Chris, so, I got a <laughs> weird jet with it. <laughs> <laughs> only, only when I have to. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, explain though, like, what did you see? What happened? Walk so, us through it. Oh, no, so. Um, put, put your seatbelt on first. Yeah. The, the beep in. Holy <laughs> shit. Chuck, you good back there? I'm good. All right. Oh, you don't have to buckle up. Just awesome. Here. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right, so there's like, you know how the one hallway led to the main kind of like that one little area down there? Yeah. Well, same thing. There's another one that led down that way. So as I'm walking down that way, I, that's that's what I heard when when I kept hearing those noises down that hallway. Yep. It was like down and then to the left. And the way that the hallway stopped, there was a door right there. And they're like, I'm telling you right now, the what nightmares are made out of. Like you know, like the little rectangle window thing. Yeah. It's like someone peeking around the corner. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm not sticking around for that shit. <laughs> Saw one of them. Yeah, he just, I, said, I said, hey, Chris, I thought we were just going in for a peek. <laughs> he did, too. He did. Eight, oh, mile, eight did, mile down the hall later. Oh, did you really? Is that what you said? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Because the peek to me is like you peek inside to look around. <laughs> then we get back oh. to the car. <laughs> Two football fields later. <laughs> <laughs> I knew exactly how that was going to end. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> And then Chris reassures me, yeah, I know, this is how nightmares start. <laughs> yeah, every time. <laughs> you look the cops, right there, look. Is it? Two of them right there, buddy. Oh, it is, too. Yeah, that's your security right there. No, those are uh, our police. actual police. police. <laughs> that's the real popo. Oh, All right, boy. so that was probably good timing then, too. Everything happens for a reason. <laughs> oh, my. <Yeah>. Dude. <laughs>
<laughs> if I don't have nightmares about that, it's gonna be the biggest miracle ever to happen. <laughs> Cause like, I knew that there was somebody in the building clearly and he was not at the position and where we left him, quote unquote. So we can all agree the tarp wasn't there, right? The tarp got the got tarp placed. Was not there when we walked in. Okay, so no, he put the tarp there, probably to let him know where we were coming in, right? That's smart. He did that so we'd step on it and be like, "Oh shit!" How oh, could he see in the dark? We had, he must have like X-ray vision. That's probably like the math. That probably gives you like some crazy visions or something. <laughs> <laughs> probably right. <laughs> Holy shit, boys! <laughs> Damn. The truck's like, yeah, I wanted to look for ghosts we were running from homeless people the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of fun. <laughs> he would experience something paranormal, and here we are. <laughs> running around in an abandoned hospital. <laughs> Damn. That was a good throw. Well, at least the, the ghosts kind of walk around, uh, float around you, right? Absolutely. Not, chase, not chasing after you or... Thank <laughs> trying to steal your wallet. Yeah. yeah. Thank goodness. Whew. So, the noise... Did you? Did anybody even look behind them when they were running? Because I didn't look to the left of the hallway when I left. Well, did you, just I'm which way did you go? Did you go around the through the middle? So or did you come straight down the hallway? No, no. I I came out. Chuck literally was like, you know, flash, like shoot out <laughs> <by> the door. Because <laughs> <laughs> when I was walking by, I thought he was behind me. Yeah. All of a sudden, the lights coming at me. And I'm like, yeah, I saw the oh, light. Oh shit! This, this, Guy's running fast, <laughs> <laughs> but it was him. <laughs> oh I thought maybe that meth kicked in on him. And he was like, <laughs> doing Olympics out there. <laughs> you saying Bolt times two? Oh my gosh, dude, that was <laughs> intense. <laughs> you can call it that, I guess. Oh my gosh. Well, when I saw, you know, flash lightning back there, <laughs> go right by the door. <laughs> I was like a good 15 or 20 feet behind by the time I got out of that door <laughs> and went around. I took a lucky guess of that hallway because it looked like it went straight and then it went like this. And then when I turned that corner in that room, <laughs> that's when, you know, the truck <laughs> just flew by at like Mach 12. <laughs> good thing you saw him. Dude. <laughs> as much thrill as a 140 in a trophy truck or? I don't know, it's a different <laughs> different kind. Different kind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. I feel way safer in the trophy truck. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. That's bad. And you know Doing it's... 210 miles an hour. <laughs> we can go 210. <laughs> oh man. That's good shit.